guys, welcome back to Jazzy Data Draws. I'm Jada and today is an exciting day because I'm unboxing my iPad 9th generation that I got for my birthday. My birthday was November 9th and I turned 22, but I didn't open it until Thanksgiving. Um, I know it's like January now, but I'm just getting around to editing this video, so yeah. I've really wanted an iPad for like so long now. I want it for like drawing, being able to do like voiceovers and not looking at my phone, just have like a bigger screen um, for writing, planning. Uh, the things I can do on this thing is like endless. So, but I mostly use it for drawing for the most part. And I'm just been using Procreate for the past month or so. And I just love it so much. Am I the only one that thinks Apple's, like, packaging is, just, like, top tier A+. Plus? Like, unpackaging it is just, like, so freaking satisfying. Like, look at this beauty right here. Like, <sighs> I decided to ask for the ninth generation because I wanted a tablet, iPad, whatever, that was just small enough to be able to carry it around. This thing actually fits in my purse with the case and everything. I take it to work. I take it to church for note-taking. It would be nice to have like a bigger screen, but also I think this is perfect for what I needed to do. The screen size is uh, 10.2 inches, so I think that's a perfect size for my first um, iPad. It still works fine for drawing even on a smaller screen size. As you can see by my reaction, I was just so excited to finally have an iPad. Just like holding this iPad in my hands, it feels like incredibly sleek, lightweight, um, has that nice finish on the back, the aluminum finish, and it just screams Apple quality, honestly. And setting it up was just like a breeze. So my dad had got me this iPad for my birthday, like I mentioned, and I went ahead and go ahead what am I saying? <laughs> I meant to say I went ahead and purchased me a Apple Pencil, the paper-like screen protector, and a purple case because I love the color purple, if you guys didn't know. Oh, and, ew, why do I sound like that? Mm, I had to pause and clear my throat because I don't know what that was coming out of my mouth. That was not my real voice. That was some kind of gremlin stuff. I don't know what that was. Anyways, let me tell you the struggle. The struggle it is to put on a screen protector. Oh my gosh. The first one, I had to scrap that because I had too many air bubbles. So it came with two and I ended up with having one because whew, it was just a struggle to put that on. Uh, I still have air bubbles on the this one but it's not as bad as the first one the main problem was when i first applied um the screen protector right now i should have just left it and kept it moving but no i kept on taking it off reapplying taking it off reapplying and so on and so forth and the bubble just got worse and worse and worse so i ripped that thing off and i just applied the second one i said well the second one have air bubbles i just have to deal with it and that's exactly what i did now let's get into the drawing portion of this video i downloaded two drawing apps which was photoshop and procreate i did not like the photoshop app at all it was just like nothing like the desktop version i don't know why i was expecting it to be like it but yeah i don't know why i thought all my brushes from my desktop version would sync to the app version which <laughs> made me so mad because i couldn't use all my favorite brushes that i was used to using so now i just use procreate for drawing I am used to only drawing in Photoshop, but now that I use Procreate, it's pretty much almost the same, but I think I love Photoshop more, especially when it comes to the line art. I think the brush settings in Procreate are like much better than the ones on Photoshop, because I don't know why, but Photoshop, I just could not get my line work to look like how it looks now when using Procreate, so I just like completely eliminated using line art f uh, from my art process when drawing in uh, Photoshop but now I like um, line art more and I just love the process when using Procreate so now I added it back to my um, drawing process. My very first completed artwork on this iPad was this single comic um, panel project for my final art project in my digital drawing class last semester. I loved making that 
um, piece of artwork so, so much. Even my professor was telling me that this is my best work in the class so far and that she can really see my improvement uh, when it comes to digital art. I don't know if it was because of the um, that this class was helping me or I don't know if it was because it was because of Procreate. I don't know, but I was just happy to hear her say that about this art drawing because I really enjoyed making this as well. It just made me like fall in love with Procreate and fall in love with line art again. Then after this drawing, I finally made my first colored illustration on here, which was my character Sam, which is also will be a sticker design and art print from an upcoming shop in the future which will be hopefully launching in like maybe February or March I don't know but I've been wanting to make an art shop for a while anyways I posted an art short of that process speaking of art shorts I just wanted to say thank you all for the support the encouraging comments I have been getting it really means a lot because it's really challenging to grow on social media for me so I just want to thank you for subscribing, supporting me as an artist. I was just honestly really shocked when these videos have reached so many people and I was getting so many um, engaging, um, I mean engagement from like likes, commenting, all that stuff. And like at the end of the day, I am just doing what I love, which is making art, inspiring others, and just overall making content. I love making content. I've gotten like so many comments saying like how my channel is underrated and how like how am I not like recognized more on here or in general. I just I used to think that the algorithm uh, oh my gosh the algorithm just like hated me and my content, but it was just really because I wasn't posting consistent. Uh, oh my gosh, why can I not talk today? Because I was not com posting consistent on here, I just happened to be posting every day because I'm on winter break from both um, college and work because I'm a full-time student and a part-time teacher. So yeah, um, because after like I attend classes and like go to work, I'm just like drained and don't feel like doing anything but like sleeping. <laughs> The thing is that I film like a lot of videos, but I just don't have time to edit them or <laughs> I don't make the time, <laughs> but um, especially like editing like these like long form videos like this, editing long form content just takes like a long time for me. I don't know if I'm just slow or I don't know, <laughs> but majority of the time it's um, time consuming to edit long form videos or I just stop posting altogether when I get really discouraged when my videos don't do that well um, until like recently. <laughs> um, so now that I see people online saying that it's the videos that you put the least amount of effort in tend to do good. I mean, that's not always the case, but now I see what people are talking about. Like I literally did not expect all this engagement at all from just recording like small clips of drawing on my bed <laughs> but really I'm honestly just completely grateful for all the um, the comments and the engagement that my um YouTube shorts have been getting well this is all for this video if you enjoyed this unboxing and me talking about my experience with procreate Photoshop and just talking about my overall experience on YouTube my growth so far on here um, Don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated on all things art Okay, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye